Alright what's going on YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you a quick Hackintosh tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to update to 10.9.2. Now just from here make sure you do a Hackintosh backup because you know that it's not a genuine Mac and that means after updates you can run into a few problems so just make sure you do a backup. So here you can see that a few features will be added and a few bug fixes will be fixed and also just to see from here you can see that I am doing a Mac app store update which the file size is quite big and you can also do a combo update so for this purpose of the video I'm going to hit not now to restart just to show you what your file size can be and mine is 700 megabytes and up so you can imagine what the combo update might be could be one gig or even more so after this has downloaded I actually go into the installation software update screen which is very familiar and also after this rebooted the computer and we got onto the completing installation screen. So after this hopefully we'll get onto the desktop and here we are successfully onto my desktop. Now this is nothing to do with a Hackintosh but I actually ran into a problem with QuickTime. For some reason I tried to screen record and it does not allow me. This is definitely to do with something with Apple's update. So that's not a major concern anyway. QuickTime actually works, it's just the screen recording don't work. So from here on this video is going to be with screenshots. So here you can see I am on 10.9.2 which is a very good thing. We have successfully installed and updated my Hackintosh and also as you probably know with Hackintosh update you'll probably lose your audio which is not a big deal so what I'm going to do is just open up MultiBees and if you haven't seen my tutorials already all you have to do is just hit on your quick start select your one mine's the SDT3 then you want to go to your driver select your audio driver whichever one your motherboard needs and then you just want to hit build and hit install and that's it for this video after that reboot of MultiBees your Hackintosh should be fully working so that's it for this video smash the like button and thank Thanks for watching, please comment, subscribe and rate.